Okay, the next thing was to uh, connect the power supply and I've got a, a 3S just for testing and to solder on all the motor wires. Having done that, the next thing to do is to fire up um, the app, the SpeedyB app and get all the motors spinning the right way. So I've done that. So if I start the motors here It's got more spinning, and then I'll pick up a little piece of paper here. Uh, I want both of these front ones to be coming inwards, and it's spinning inwards. And that, it's also spinning the right way. These ones should be coming out the other way. Okay, so it's everything spinning the way it should be. So I can do all that before I connect anything like a, a, uh, a transmitter, ELS uh, receiver or any other hardware. So it's, it's quite good to be able to do this with the app. You can do all sorts of other stuff with it but this is all I use it for. So now I'm going to turn the motors off. Yeah, the top of this particular screen which is the motors tab, it's just speed of flight on a phone, um, this is where you change the direction of the motors if you need to. So I was lucky this time, three of them were spinning the right way. I just had to change the, the top, uh, top left uh, motor number four. And having done all that and then saved and rebooted, I've got my settings. So that's the next step in the build. And the next step was a little more soldering. First was to put the condenser on, on the back on the main leads. And then what I've done, I've put little blobs of solder on all the uh, points I'm going to use. Oh, these are the connectors for the, uh, for the GPS. There's four, four wires there. There's uh, power, ground, and TX and RX. Over on this front of it, front of the thing, uh, you've got a similar setup for the ELRS um, transmitter um, power ground uh, R2 and T2 while well, these were T6 and R6 um, over here a little bit more you've got the uh, you got the camera um, output to the camera and I've got uh, 5 volts and ground for that as well over here a couple of BZ and BZ plus and minus they're the beepers and finally over on this side you've got the input from the camera um, again it wants a camera 5 volt and ground so it comes in it overlays the, G, uh, the OSD information and squirts it out through the output for VTX before it's transmitted to the ground station or goggles the LRS um, transmitter on it receiver, I can then uh, do some basic flight testing before I bother to put the beeper and the camera and the GPS on. So progress has been made. So this is the RP Run Radio Master um, ELRS uh, transmitter. You notice that TX is on yellow, RX is on green. You've got to cross them over so by the time you get to the the board, so TX yellow there, and RX or R2 there. So, so in theory, this is everything connected, ready to uh, bind it to a receiver, and uh, I'll be able to do the next stage of testing. In fact, I've got to do a lot more setup with uh, Betaflight, which I'll get into uh, next time around.